Oh, hey, Dick. Hey, Alex. Can it wait? I'm just about to start the show. Yeah, I know. I just need to set up this little guy. What the hell is that? This is your new puppet sidekick. You know, you can interview the guests, get up to some mischief. Yeah, I don't want a puppet sidekick, all right? This is supposed to be a serious show. Serious show? For God's sake, it's called the Dick fucking Bush Show. It's not bloody Schindler's List. I didn't say it was going to be Schindler's List. Although, put that on the parody list. That could be classy. You know, yeah. black and white. I'm Dick Bush, and you're watching The Dick Bush Show, where I pay porn stars to come over to my house and not have sex with each other. Let's take a look at what we've got coming up. What? Oh, no, no, please, sir. I, don't, I really don't think we should, uh, oh. Where did you get that costume? Hello, I found it. Oh, you do. <laughs> do you mind? I'm just about to get my bloody end away. Computer, generate 80 foot tall version of Daisy Ridley circa 2019 with a full bladder. Us, adventurer, pussy detective. Now that's exciting. Damn right it was. I can't wait to see that shit. Um, yeah. Okay, well, it's time to see who's in my bathroom today. <gasps> it's Alexa Vice. Yeah! Here she is! Alexa, take a seat. Thank you. Hi. Looking lovely. Hi. So, Alexa, what was the last scene that you filmed? I, I shot yesterday. I, and I shot two scenes yesterday. I wonder what she's like as a person. Um, both you know, deep down. With is this all an act? Toy. Is she different um, in real life? Was, what the hell is real like, life? Like Chances are this is all There's some computer-generated ancestor simulation. Or well, fiction, Jesus. What if we're all just fiction being written by someone? We'd never know. Okay, while she's yammering on about the state of her asshole, let's take a look at a certain part of the porn industry that you, the viewer, rarely get to see. This is Aspects of Porn. Aspects of porn. Sure, these days anyone with an intelligent camera phone can upload some content to the web and call themselves a producer. But the major big companies, they put a whole lot more effort in. I'm here at the home of Jim Sideways, who works as a Foley artist for the porn industry. Hi, Jim. Hi, nice to meet you. Dick Hi. Bush. So, what exactly does a Foley artist do? The camera's moved. Oh, yes, it will do that. Don't worry. Just ignore it. Okay. The... Oh, yeah. Well, traditionally in movies and television, the, the specific sounds are recorded after the production of the principal photography. So the, the sounds like the, the footsteps, the clothes rustling, the sounds of supper eating, the soup, the soup spoons, the celery in the salad, these are all made afterwards. So they come to a Foley artist like me to reproduce those sounds. But you work in the porn industry as a Foley artist. Does porn really require such high production? Well, it depends on what level you want. Of course, you can record the sound at the time of shooting, but if you want real cinematic quality, you need to come to me. Right, and so what sort of sounds in the world of porn do you create? Oh, the usual sounds are footsteps, uh, uh, clothes falling. Uh, the, the general sounds for the first scenes of the scene. But then we come to the sex, and that is where I really specialise. So, you're saying none of the sounds that we hear in high-quality porn are actually recorded on the day? Oh, no. No, 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 no. The sounds are all recorded by me and my menagerie... My menagerie of prop. Wow. 
Amazing. Well, Jim, we have a bit of a challenge for you. We have porn stars Alexa and Estella here, and they're going to mime a sex scene, and we'd like to see if you can produce all the sounds for it. You up for that? Of course. Let's get started. <laughs> okay, girls, take it away. Effective. Thanks. Uh, girls, what did you think? I think it sounded amazing. Yeah, I was so worried it would be a little ridiculous, but it was awesome. Yeah, it was cool. Well, if there's one thing we've learned, it's that a little bit of effort goes a long way. And by the sound of things, that goes for the porn industry too. <laughs> Of course, this is quite a long thing. Huh? Um, and only the very large ones run in my bum. Lots of spunk. So that was intense. <laughs> like um, camping. Like camping. Alexa, just how big are your boobies? <laughs> well, that's a gross name for them. Um, they are like a 32. GH, 34 GH. Amazing. <laughs> I think I should go and check and see if she's right. Oh, I think Papa's gonna go check. <laughs> Whoa, uh, okay, Alex, stop. Okay, th okay, this is not working at all. I can obviously see, I mean, you're right in the shot. I, I, this, it, the puppet isn't cool. I just want a cool show. Yeah. You paid good money for this. I didn't even know I paid any money for it. I think he's kind of cute. <gasps> no, don't look at me now, I'm naked. <laughs> okay, um, over to Max Deeds, who's out on the streets practicing one of his chat-up lines. Max? Thanks, Dick. Let's test my new chat-up lines. Excuse me. Um, my dick just died. Can I bury it in your vagina? And back to you, Dick. Thanks, Max. It's time to play some games. Yes, I love games. Yeah, she does. And she's such a kitty. If she were on her period, I'd give her a massive squeeze. <laughs> Cause she's my little ketchup bottle. Okay, all right, just. Okay, let's play a game. <laughs> right, first game we're gonna play, I like to call Fill in my blank. Alexa, this is the game where I give you a porno title and you're going to fill in my blank. Okay. Are you ready? Uh, I sort of. We'll see what happens. Raiders of the Lost blank. Anus. Oh, <laughs> that's Raiders of the Lost Ass. Of course. Okay. I was close. Next one. Was close. Blank impossible. Missionary Impossible? She's got one! Pulp Blank. Pulp Fisting? 
pulp friction. <sighs> okay, round two, which I like to call Pornify This. I'm gonna give you the title of a Hollywood movie. You're gonna give me the porno parody version. Ace Ventura, Pet Detective. Ass Adventurer, Pussy Detective. <laughs> Close, it's Ass or Ass. Ass Ventura, Crack Detective. Okay, maybe you have a go on this one as well, um, Puppet. Okay. It's a Wonderful Life becomes. It's a Wonderful Life. <laughs> it's a Wonderful Life. No, it's. Tits a wonderful life. Tits a wonderful life. Tits are wonderful. Life. Are wonderful. <laughs> they are. Okay, last little one. Forrest Gump becomes. Forrest Gump. <laughs> Not bad. Forrest Hump? It's Forrest Hump. Ah, oh, no. Too much chat. Quick, cut to some jiggling boobies. Much better. Oh, hi guys. I'm Danny D, obviously. Here's a tip for any guys that want to become a porn star. Try having a big cock. It's really effective and it's worked wonders for me. I'll see you next time on Just The Tip. Captain's personal log, stardate 5th of Feb. I've been removed from my position of Alliance Star Force Captain due to incompetence and suspicion of intellectual disability. Nevertheless, I have found work on a small ship in the private sector. The crew are still getting used to my methods and some, I think, just hate me. I'm not overly fond of them either, especially number one. He's constantly interrupting my log entries. Captain, and... please, can we maybe save these diary log entries of yours for your personal time. We've arrived at the pickup location. Shields up. Shields are inoperable, Captain. Why? Because we have no shields, Captain. Captain Sider, this is a refuse collection vehicle. We collect garbage from space. Computer, make a record to show that the shields are inoperable. Captain, we don't have that kind of computer. Please, can we just teleport the garbage into the refuse compressor? Zora? Starting refuse collection. Belay that order. Scan for signs of life. Captain, it's just space parts, general debris, waste. We need to clear this so it's safe for travel. A simple scan will tell us what's out there. Run that scan, Ensign Zora. Yes, Captain. Scan shows metal, plastic, human waste. Microbes. Microbes? You see, number one, life. Uh, sir, I'm not your first officer. Just call me Dex. And we'd expect to find microbes in garbage. Could be an intelligent microscopic civilization. Oh, Jesus. Lieutenant Ginger, open a channel of communication. Yes, sir, Captain, sir. Sir, I really must protest that you hiring an escort to act as comms officer. Shh. This is Captain Justin Sider of the Refuse Collection Vehicle Star Trash 13. We're looking to enter into a line of communication with you about possibly arranging a trade agreement. Any reply, Lieutenant Ginger? Nothing yet, but I, I don't really know how to use this equipment. Very good. Keep trying. You'll find me in the holodeck. Is he for real? Does he even know what's going on? I don't think he seems like he knows what he's doing, but he's paying me by the hour, so he's gonna get whatever the fuck he wants. By the hour? We're on a three-month assignment out here. Yeah, I plan to retire when we get back, so as far as I'm concerned, I'm a cops officer. 
Computer, generate eight foot tall Futanari versions of Bryce Dallas Howard and Eva Green. Reprogram to give them severe maternal instincts, but make them think that having sex with someone is the same as protecting them. Alter their perception to make them think that I am their son. Disengage safety protocols and run program. Sir, we don't have a holodeck. This is a storage cupboard. Nonsense, it's just playing up. Computer, generate 80 foot tall version of Daisy Ridley circa 2019 with a full bladder. Generate lawn chair and a set of goggles. Increase my olfactory sense by 5,000%. Disengage safety protocols and run program. Sir, please, can we just get back to collecting the garbage? Get engineering to look at this holodeck number one. I need it for my experiments. Update, Lieutenant Ginger. I've used every known form of industrial communication service, no I believe it's safe to release the trash now, Captain. No, I think we need to use a non-terrestrial form of communication. Lieutenant Ginger, perform a dance with sexual overtones and stream it using gamma radiation into the debris. I wish to add high intensity music, sir. Granted. No, 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 not me. Number one. What? Oh, no, no, please, sir. I, don't, I really don't think we should, uh... Oh. Yes, yes, excellent. Now look at me, number one. Look at me. Maintain eye contact at all times. What is this, Captain? It's communication, number one. Communication. Excellent. Any response? Oh, yeah, there's been an increase in the activity of the gamma rays. I knew it! Intelligent life. We must make arrangements to rehome these life forms before collecting any debris. Ensign Zora, can you teleport the microbes to the nearest planet? Yeah, I, I guess I could do that. Make it so. Okay. Transporting all bacteria from the debris to the atmosphere of the nearest available planet, so Captain. Excellent. Can we collect the debris now, Captain? Absolutely, number one. After all, that's what we're here for. Collecting debris, Captain. Captain's personal log, additional. I have single-handedly saved an intelligent species of microbes. Hopefully that means that pretty soon we can start a discourse into creating a meaningful trade agreement. Maybe this is the first of many acts that would lead to my being reinstated in the Alliance Star Force. Time will tell. Okay, Alexa, are you ready for some personal questions? If your vagina was any type of food, what food would it be? Uh, well, I mean, pizza comes fastest and earliest in the day. Just how big is your vagina? Always large. Okay, let's say it's a Sunday, Sunday morning. You haven't done anything on Saturday. You've just got up. What state is your vagina in? Uh, <laughs> greasy and hot and, you know, meaty. Any cheese? Probably a double cheese. You've had sex with a lot of people. Is there something in the world that you would like to have sex with, but you know you shouldn't? Oh, oh, uh, baby hippos are very cute. Oh God. I have a dog and a cat and have previously had snakes. I like animals. Wow, that is a lot of animals you've had. And are there some things that you'd really like to do in the world of porn that you haven't yet tried? Oh, wow. Uh, eat shit. Good to know. Those were your <laughs> personal questions. Oh, before we start, I should probably tell you something. Um, sure. What's up? I've got a few conditions. I've got anxiety, depression, ADHD, PTSD, and BPD. Oh, I see. It shouldn't be. It's you know. You know what? No. 
it'll be fine. Let's just go with the day. It'll be fine. You sure? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Let me uh, grab my camera. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Come on, let's go gay. Uh, okay, yeah, um, yeah. let's start with some sexy moving. Um, just, you know, pretend there's music playing or something. Oh, sorry, I just wanted to send a quick email. <laughs> It'd be uh, Could it maybe wait until we're done? Why are you always shouting at me? Uh, I didn't mean to. What if I arch my back like this? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's great. Okay, just uh, keep moving. Don't tell me what to do. Jesus! Is this okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's great. Um, yeah, that's nice. Yeah, really great. Now look right into the camera and. <laughs> uh, Lulu, are you? Can I get a drink? Oh, uh, sure. Yeah, I've got um, water or tea, coffee, maybe something fizzy. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, we're just putting the shelf up. It just this wall looks a bit bare, but it won't take long. Just... No, please don't put a shelf up. You rebel scum! Where did you get that costume? I don't know. I found it. Ha! Oh, you. <laughs> okay, look. I'm not sure today is gonna work out. All right. Go, go. I want a squirrel. The squirrels are fluffy. They look good. I want to touch my bed. Hey, whoa, just pl just stop, please. You never let me do anything that I want! Ooh, dinosaur! Oh, I'm not... Oh, 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 Come with me. Excuse me. You wouldn't call me a fireman? Because I mainly turn the hose on. Fuck off. Back to you, Dick. Well, that's all we've got time for. Just want to say thanks to our guest, Alexa Vi... Alexa? Alexa? What the hell? Are you sure about this? I've wanted you since the moment I met you. You are so fucking hot. But... I'm just a puppet. You're so much more than just a puppet. Oh. 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 What is going on? Do you mind? I'm just about to get my bloody end away. Alex, you can't just... Wait, Alex? Yeah, what's up? You can't control him anymore. Uh, okay, uh, just end the show, just end the show, end the show, right now, right now!